I made the first video game when I was a kid, in the early 60s. We found a hornet's nest inside of a pallet. And we took a big metal bar, because that's the stuff we played with. Because we played outside and we drank out of a hose. Yeah. And we stripped down to our short pants. Early 60s short pants. Took off our running shoes. Alleys didn't have pebbles, they had freaking rocks. And the two of us took this metal bar and shoved it into the hornet's nest and 15 Mississippis. And then we ran. And then we counted bites. And whoever had the least number of bites won. And then we ate peanut butter and nobody died. And then we took gluten and poured it all over our bodies. Because we didn't blame a bad shit on a loaf of bread. And then we went to A&W and got a hamburger with beef that was grown here in Saskatchewan. Yes, none of this non-hormonal crap. I want hormones in my beef. I want to grow tits so I have something to do when I'm in a senior's home in four years. Don't give me this, oh, no, no, no hormones, no, no, no. And if you're a vegetarian and you want a burger, don't. You don't get a burger. You don't get to get dog food and make it into a corn and make it into a Beyond Meat burger. No. Uh, you don't see me taking bacon and dyeing it green and go, here, a Beyond salad. <laughs> just, just wise up, you people. Yeah, sorry, did I, did I, uh, I, I could have opened it first. There we go. <laughs> See, that's me, I'm just miserable. Miserable. And it's, it's not the kids, I said, we got a lot of stupid people in this world. But you know what? It's not the kids' fault. It's the parents. It's the parent that does not discipline. It's the, it's usually the shh mom, right? That you'll be in a restaurant, you'll see that mommy, and you go, don't run, shh, don't run, and it gets running. And you look over at the mom, and there's <laughs> You go, do something. <laughs> do <laughs> And kids are this tall, so I'm not standing up and teabagging the cog. <laughs> I'm not getting injured. So I tripped the kid, right there and right there. <laughs> Kids laying there crying, I go, that's why you don't run. <laughs> you just got your first zero from Mr. B. <laughs> Next time your mom goes, shh, say it after it. <laughs> Is that, you, you've seen it. It's, it's, I, I was in a store, it was this crowded. There was expensive stuff like this, and the kid's running that way. And the mom gets way over there, and I see her bending down, talking to the kid, and good, here's a responsible mom. She's giving them some alternative. She's consequences for their actions. Stands up, and the kid fucking runs again. This way, she catches them right here. I get to hear it now. She says, honey, mommy said not, not to run. <laughs> mommy doesn't want you to run. No, no, no. Mommy doesn't want you to run. Do you want a dinosaur? Okay, so she's gonna buy something to this, for this kid to reinforce bad behavior. I was raised by World War II vets. My mom was very similar. She picked me up and looked me in the eyes and go, do you want to die in this store? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how my mom vaccinated me? She took me to the Spotted Kids house. Yeah, and the next day I went to Gopher Boy's house and I had all the diseases. Right? We didn't swear. All oh, like kids and me they can swear in front. How many people in here swore in front of your grandma? Once. You had a red mark on your face and you farted bubbles for a week. The generation over here going, oh yeah, Tide Pods, we should eat those. <laughs> no, my generation, we ate them. That's after we said the F word and we had to eat them. 